Hello. It is I, the Nugster, back with the second part of this session, this P4G sesh. As usual, I am just here to say hello and wish you a happy whatever day it is. I don't know when this is coming out. Tomorrow? Yesterday? September 1st? Either way, that's it. I have nothing else. Okay, bye. Enjoy the next part and stuff. Tee. <laughs> we still have to go to school. You can hear the girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? Yeah, right, Umbrella Girl. Pay more attention. Your sirens nearby. Seems there's been an incident. Decided to head to school. Yeah, I think you just get off school early because one of your students died. Yeah, nice try. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, <laughs> please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. <laughs> is that the principal? God, everyone here's a weirdo. First, the principal has something to say. That <laughs> Gandalf? Jesus Christ. I know, he looks like the wizard from... I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. He looks like the wizard from... Shrek 2? Or is it Shrek 3? The one with Arthur in it. <laughs> Merlin, right? One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? Hmm. She was found, well, according to that vision, she's found dead in the same way. And so far, the only connection we have between the two murders is that she discovered the body. <sighs> Aw. Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. <laughs> it wasn't our fault, thank God. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> the principal's address continues. When we get the day off, Jesus. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. Same difference. It's gotta be a serial murder case. <laughs> I wonder if it's someone, if it's actually like a serial murder, serial killer, or if it's just like something weird about that dimension. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Poison? Oh, like the stuff we were affected with in the other dimension? Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. <laughs> it's It's gotta be that goddamn bear. By the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that midnight channel thingy. Is that who we're seeing? Oh. Wait, didn't... Didn't someone say they saw the announcer in the TV? Like, during the first days? Is that what it is? Or, I don't know. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> 
Sounds like someone had a nightmare. Hey, <laughs> someone had a little nightmare. Me. <laughs> broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Yeah, everyone here sucks. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? No. Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen is Saki Senpai. Hmm. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain, and then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? That's what I was saying. Uh, we're both so smart. Maybe. Just maybe, but... Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died, too. Is it, like... A prediction of death? What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying... People who appear on that TV... Die? Can't say for sure. Well, there's only one way to find out. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? Oh. Also, that bear said someone was throwing people in. Oh. Maybe it is a serial killer then. A, a serial killer who knows about the dimension? TV dimension? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. Alright, we're gonna play detectives. Um, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Most likely. Well, what do you think? You might be right. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yeah, but what do we do? Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. I think we need to talk to that, as scary as it sounds, I think we need to talk to that bear again. But don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... Let's just tell the police about the other dimension. I'm sure they'll believe us. You think we can rely on the police? We haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Yeah, the police don't do anything in these games. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. What if we just showed them? <laughs> just call the police to the, uh, the June's place. And then when they show up, we'll just jump to the TV. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. I'm with you, bro. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. And I'm... I will. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kind of understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. We just need to make sure that bear's with us. What should we do? Go with Yosuke. Stop, Yosuke. Let Shady side. Is this actually going to affect something? Well, something needs to be done. Are you serious? Better than him going by himself. Bring like a kitchen knife or something. Alone. Damn right. That's what I want to hear. Would you like to save your progress thus far? Uh, sure. What? <laughs> you brought a rope and a golf club. I see you've prepared. 
I came to come with. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. Are you gonna tie the rope to the store and then jump in? You don't think anyone's gonna come by and see the rope going through the TP? I know, but we were able to come back once, right? So we can do it again. If we go in from the same location. Maybe we'll meet that bear again. That is what I'm scared of. <laughs> Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? I could just go back home. I can't leave it alone. I can't leave it alone. Yeah, I thought not. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. I'm, I'm that guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're just gonna have Chie hold the rope. Huh? What's that? A rope? I'm having questions about her plan. We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? what? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Also, I don't think that rope's very long. Where are you planning to go? This is for you. Oh, <laughs> okay. Thanks. Obtain golf club and three medicine. What? Medicine? I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. Where did you get this medicine? What is the medicine even for? Can I just call it medicine? Alright, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. What am I tied to? Hey! I said wait! Alright, I like this plan. In we go. Well, <laughs> and well, that was the last we were ever seen. Now what? Should throw a mattress in here first. Is this? Look, this is the same place as last time, so they are connected from place to place. That's a good sign. <gasps> the bear. Do you just sit around here? Do you eat? Get it. You're the ones behind this. Behind what? You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here. And I don't think anyone forced you in. How can you tell? That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that again. Also, how'd you find me out immediately? Hell no. <laughs> no way it was like that. Shut up. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out... They might die. Funny you say that. Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Probably. Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? That must be it. I'm just gonna say I don't know. Could be. We need more information. For sure either. Doesn't it bug you how this bear keeps saying someone's been throwing people in here? Let's assume he's telling the truth. Yeah, I don't think these beans would lie. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? Be a cool plan. All these plays can do anything. That's the case. What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Yeah, so we have you. Remember? How I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life. What? And yep. Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. <laughs> I'm the one who wants to investigate. Well, let's investigate together then. Here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. 
see you have proof. Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. How? It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> our questions this isn't like last time when we came by accident we're dead serious yeah don't you won't like it when Listen i'm angry up. these people have died in our world every time the fog appears a dead body shows up with it it has to be related to this place somehow if you know something tell us a dead body whenever the fog appears great not not even the dimensional bear knows i know that if it's foggy on your side the fog lifts here that's not a good sign. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. The what? Ah, I get it. You can't just say that and not explain. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent. That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. <laughs> stop this funny business. I've told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying you might be the culprits. What if I give you a hug? I'm just making sure. But man, this bear's driving me nuts. I don't think we should anger the dimensional what bear. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, it's called Persona 4 Golden. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. That's unfortunate. You can make big bucks. Always been like this? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. Wh wh why? Why? <laughs> we don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. That's what I'm saying. With that stupid costume. I'd say it's time you showed your face. You're gonna assault a dimensional bear? Stop! No! You killed him! You ended him! <laughs> what the hell are you? I like how it's like, what? It's just a sentient costume. It's empty inside. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. Aww. Okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. Thanks, mysterious but bear. I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. That's the plan. Promise me. Or else... Oh, God. It's gonna threaten I'm us. I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. <laughs> That's quite the threat. Little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then I <laughs> Great, you made the bear cry. Apologize. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. It's just now weirding you out? It's been I've been very concerned for this whole time. Serious bear is asking you to find a culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you. Wait, what? If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. <laughs> Mysterious bear seems serious about this. Should we do now? Yeah, we only have one option, basically. Remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? I forgot about that guy. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Hey, Yosuke, have you ever seen some guy with the longest nose you've ever seen? And the craziest eyebrows and bloodshot eyes? Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was the contract Igor spoke of? Can find the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? I didn't sign up for anything. In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Yes, I pinky promise. I promise. Thank 
Thank you. Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. More like completely in the fog. Aha! Bumps. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. I feel like if someone's throwing people in here, they don't live here. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. No good face. You got a name? Teddy. Wow, how creative. <laughs> <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Thanks. But I know where the last person came in. Oh, wow. That's actually very helpful. Last person. You mean Saki Senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know their name. Did you talk to them? I'll take you there. You might find clues. All right. One thing first. You two should put these on. What? Glasses? I'm not blind. I have 2020 vision. What are these glasses for? What? As you put the, on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. These are see-through fog glasses? Eh, you look like a nerd. The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. How? <laughs> Where did you have these? How do you know about- Why do you just have glasses made for humans that can help them see through the fog? Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Okay. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. Don't worry, I have a golf club. What happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. Also, I don't know why I said weapons. You brought one golf club and gave it to me. What are you going to fight with? Here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? <laughs> yeah, do you have any superpowers? Uh -uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Moral support from a safe distance. Oh, the horse set. How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? Try touching shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll just touch him. That was it. What? I fucking decked him. <laughs> well, is this thing for real? I think we're doomed, Yosuke. Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? <laughs> uh, sore, th sore spot. Don't bring it, it doesn't up. doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information, too. Let's get moving. No, yet. All right, let's go. Wait! All right, I guess I'll help the bear out. Oh god, what? This is the town. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. That it does. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. This just appeared here? Things are getting so tangled. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? Maybe because I decked him in the face. You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. We're doomed. I mean, uh, oh. I can't stand too close, you know. I get in your way. <sighs> oh, man, they really went all out on this. <laughs> Who are you talking about? The gods of this uh, dimension? But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? Why do you keep saying it like someone did this? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. What? As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Uh. I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Y do you want to go in there? Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second. They're here. W what's here? What? What are you talking about? Shadows. I had a feeling. Going to attack. Uh oh. Huh? Oh god. Uh. I I don't think the golf club is gonna work. Ew. Hurry, golf club, go. What? 
What is it doing? Stop. Ew. Oh, ew. Ow. This is not the time. Oh, is that the man that was inside me? Oh, is that Yu-Gi-Oh card? Is it... Is it Dark Magician? Why am I smiling? So. I've gone insane. Holy fuck, what is happening? God, I'm so cool. <laughs> Do I have a cup on the balls? God, I don't know what happened, but that was fucking epic. Alright, time to fight these things with my golf club. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Teddy. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. Ew, look at that. I can tell this one has a weakness, too. Try stuff out and see what works. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, it'll be knocked down. Compared to other attacks, attacking the enemy's weakness does more damage. If you can knock all enemies down, you'll get a one more attack. Use your weapon skills to strike enemy weaknesses and get one more attack to get the advantage of battle. However, if the enemies attack your weakness, they get extra attacks too. So always keep your enemies' weaknesses in your own mind. Oh my god, we're fighting again. Oh shit, that music's going in. Uh, are they weak to lightning? <laughs> it would seem so. Oh, thanks. You can check no information about the enemy with the analysis command or by the analyze button. What's the analyze button? Uh, oh, this slipping helbrillery. It's weak to electricity. Go oh, for it. interesting. I see. So there's fire, ice, electricity, feather, star, and tentacle, <laughs> and explosion. <laughs> I'm sure that was all of them. Uh, all right. Get up! Ha ha! Oh, yeah, another note? Can I just keep going forever? Die. Oh, I'm so strong. Oh, nope. Ew, it licked me. I won't take that. God, I'm so cool. Oh, I got 30 XP, no money, and two soul drops. Felt a certain energy inside after a recent battle. Your HP and SP have increased. Oh, I'm level 2. You're not able to create personas up to level 2. Moving up in the world. Thanks. Bro. I have too many. Nugget Face has faced his other self. He's obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardship. The persona is a Nagi. Whoa, what was that? Oh, what? You don't do that every day? Did I hear you say persona? What was it? Yeah, did you see my epic transformation? What did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Yeah, <laughs> no. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. Why are you calling me that? Sensei? Gosh almighty! You're amazing, Sensei! I am one impressed bear. Yeah, I know, I'm pretty cool. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? You should be calling me Sensei too. Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> Tee. All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. What are you gonna Let's do? Get back to the investigation. Could have happened to Senpai here.
I mean, unless she... But voices begin to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. How dare you? Do not insult Walmart. It's all because of that store. What the... <laughs> I knew it. This is all Walmart's fault. Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Bro, what? She's a fucking teenager. She just... Working to, for money. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? Wow, you guys are I dicks. Think the sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father to have his own <laughs> working for the enemy. <laughs> what? It's a part time job, woman. What a troublesome child. Wow, these people suck. Hey, hey, Ted, you said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? Oh, is this like her reality? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? That's depressing. I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Yeah. Into the swirly hole of redness. This place looks cool. Damn it, not again. You get to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. <laughs> wow. The money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. Damn. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. Telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this? It's the photo we took the other day with the other part timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? Uh, scrap of the photo shows uh, Saki Konishi smiling. Yoke Yosuke standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. What? Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. Uh, uh, sorry, Yosuke. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. Is that because you're working there? Is this actually what she's thinking? Or are we being fucked with? I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's... So sad. Uh, I feel so sorry for myself. Boo uh, Yosuke? Oh, it wasn't you? Actually, oh. I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> hey, do you have a twin brother or something? Huh? Two Yosuke's? <laughs> so, which one's real? The one that has yellow eyes and stinks? Oh god. Yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? You're looking uh pretty uh messed up there. Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything. Especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? That's not true. I You put on a good show of being carefree and happy go lucky cuz you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. You should just beat him up. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? 
Because I am you. Hurry, trick him. What is he thinking about right now? You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? Don't listen to him. It's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true. What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Do you have a big ton like the other ones? Screw that. I don't know you. Do we all have a shadow? You can't be me, you son of a bitch! Beat him up. Get him. <laughs> That's right. Say it again. You're not me. You're nothing like me! Hmm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. That doesn't make any sense. I'm not you anymore, see? <laughs> Kill him! Punch him in the face! Get him, Yosuke! Oh, God. He's powering up! Uh... Did you just die? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look like you anymore, Yosuke. Holy shit. I am a shadow. The true shadow. <laughs> Is this what you really are, Yosuke? I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. What? What did I do? Wind of Oblivion? Oh god. Shaoyos is laughing nightly. I don't know. This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. <laughs> yeah. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select guard from the battle menu to increase the damage you receive. While defending attacks to your weaknesses and status elements attacks can be blocked. Looks like the enemy is about to let loose with a devastating attack or about to hit your weakness. Be sure to guard. Be careful for you. Will leave the defensive stance after being hit once. All right. Well, since you gave me such information, ah, three damage. Do it again. <laughs> Power charge. Oh, uh, guard. Ah, oh, eleven damage. Hey, are you weak to lightning? Oh, thank God, everything's weak to lightning. Take that. What happens to a frog when it's struck by lightning? <laughs> oh, you missed, you loser. Get him. I'm beating the shit out of you. <laughs> Wait, you can't do that. Can I just slap it? Slap it. Touch your boink. You're at half health. Wind. Oh god. I'm gonna die. Uh. Keep striking it with lightning. Maybe. Let's get in there. Okay, now guard. Yeah, I know, Teddy. Oh, I'm looking weak. I'm at 21 health. Wait. Can I... Is this... Info? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Aha, uh -huh, I bet you don't have healing items. <laughs> oh, is that... Oh yeah, I guess it guards and then does the thing. You're getting to be a real pain. All right, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got. How I'm guarding? Uh, get wrecked. 
I am literally kicking your ass. Ow! Stupid frog. Oh god, I'm about to run out of PP. PP points. Super PP points. Oh, it's so close though. Oh god. I go, Teddy! Yeah, you suck. Aha! Uh -huh. Too smart for you. Oh god, I have one PP. Oh, thank god. Alright, I've killed Yosuke. The game is over. Damn, 100 XP, 3,000 yen? That's like... $30? <laughs> I think. Fill a certain energy side. Oh, I leveled up too. I'm so good. Something inside you has changed. Oh. The other thing, blow it up. Stre ST? I guess that's strength. MA? Uh. Magic? Endurance, agility, luck? Let's go. Alright, you can get the finishing blow. I kicked your ass or something. I don't know. Oh, he's still here. Jordan, not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Oh, are you two actually connected? I just thought I was like impersonating you. Y Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. You have to be brave. yourself oh I knew it wasn't lying but I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it music's going in you're me and I'm you when you get down to it all of this is me the strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest what oh what you get one too Here you go. You can have Dark Magician Girl. Yosuke has faced his other self. He's obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardship. Persona Jiraiya. This is my persona. Oh my god, we're increasing. Is this bear gonna get one? When you heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. Aww. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass. Huh. What a way to find out. This is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. So, it, like, if you come in here and lose to your other self, you just end up dead? Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? God, we're always on the same page. You like like it. how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Interesting. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. Yikes. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. We didn't even find any clues. At least we're both Persona users now. Let's go back. <laughs> hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? I was- I just remembered that Chie is still outside. 
<laughs> did she just like go home? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. Hmm. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. It was the same for them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. Why are you the only thing that's different here? I sensed people here twice before. But both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. Which would be the two people who died so far. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here. And since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. Why don't you help them? After a while, that shadow thing came out. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Eek. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. But they didn't fall in here by accident, apparently. They were thrown in. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. <laughs> Do they actually have a higher thought process? Those two ton things just look like they wanted to eat me. It'll be dangerous. But we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Alright, time to get all our friends in here and have them <laughs> fight themselves. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Uh, we need to find the culprit, though. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah. Oh, him? Finally starting to understand what's going on. Are you saying a woman can't be a serial killer, Yosuke? How insensitive. Um, can I ask something too? Go for it. If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? <laughs> Why are you asking me? I have no idea where you are. You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but... I don't know anything about myself. Uh... That's... worrying. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm sorry, Bear, I don't really want to go through your existential crisis right now. But we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys... come back here? We made a promise. Catch the baddie. Bad boy. You or bad girl. Keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. Okay. You need to come in from the same place every time. So we can meet up. The TV at June's? From somewhere else but then you won't end up here you might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you then you'd be doomed no I'm built different got it well pretty much all right can you show us the way out Roger that one exit coming right up Like the fact that you can summon the way out is cool. First concerning. Sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. <laughs> I feel like you're like some great demon god who's forgotten his true self. Okay, go, go, go. Squish. All right, bye, Teddy. Is Chase still waiting for us? 
How long were we in there? Oh my god, she is. <laughs> hey, we went through a lot. How long are we gone? Were you just mourning her death? Huh? Gee, eh? Whoa, what's with that face? Check out her new glasses. <laughs> oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I'll give you a hug, don't worry. <laughs> you should have just jumped in with us. Give our cool glasses. I was so worried. I mean, they're, they're damaged. I hate you both. I love you too. I, I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Just a little. Maybe we did go a little too far. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't get hit. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. Yeah. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. Bye. Do these glasses do anything in the real world? Or just make us look like nerds. Or, I mean, super cool. Near the floodplains while walking home from June's. Is that Yuko? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. Hello. What are you doing dressed like that out in the rain? Can we actually meet yet? Or, like, not even oh, talk to you? Are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um, are you getting used to your new town and school? Uh, I like it here. I like going to the TV dimension. Oh, wait, you don't know anything about that yet. But... It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> she might be a little upset with me right now. We're getting along. I'm glad to hear that. Chie is very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we cut class sometimes. Oh, you bad, bad girls. Oh, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school, then. Bye. Oh, I finally talked to you. Late. When is he not? I swear if they're still talking about it. Alright, I guess there was another murder. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body... Uh, who discovered Konishi's body? That's probably the next victim, right? Police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Yeah. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Sure. Anko seems to be very reliable for her age. Amani, How old is she? Located upstream of Samegawa River is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open air, radium rich hot springs. Oh, After the hot springs. With Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Oh my god, it's Yuko. Yuko's on TV wearing a kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. 
Does it? See if we can interview her. Excuse me. <laughs> this fucking reporter. Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous <laughs> in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. <laughs> what is this fucking reporter? Do you have a boyfriend? Reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. Yeah, fuck this channel. Oh, I need to do the dishes. You decided to help out with the housework. You can now check your status by pressing the command menu button. You may now create quick save data from the command menu. You may play from quick save, select continue from the tile screen, the layout on progress, the current floor will be reset, and you will start at the beginning of the floor. What floor? What are you talking about? Uh, what, what are you doing? It goes a lot better when you're two people washing the dishes. Tee hee! Damn right it does. You're still watching the quiz show? God, you must fucking love this quiz show. Anything in the fridge? Can I leave? It's raining through the night again. You should go back to your room and check the TV. Alright, well. Wait, let me say it quickly. Alright, well, I'm gonna end it here for now. God. Went for a while. <laughs> the events were just happening. I had to go through it all. I didn't. I'll probably have to split this up into a couple. We'll see. Anyway, damn, things are happening. More people are dying on my watch. I swear it's not me. I will solve this goddamn mystery. And we have two Persona 4 Golden users. <laughs> two Persona users. I guess I want to get more. Well, yeah, obviously, probably. Probably like Chie, Yukiko. I wonder if it's just gonna be us four. Or may and maybe the fucking teddy bear. Whatever that dimensional creature is. But yeah. Things are getting interesting. I'll have to figure that out next time though. I hope you enjoy. Please leave a like and a comment if you did. And I hope to see you all next time. Until then. Bye.